day everyone welcome back this is your host carol lorem flari right here on our favorite favorite show called divine human empowerment inspirational talk clearly on empowered by globals conference tv today we've got a very like unique type of conversation today you know topic whereby is it important to be coached is it important to be guided by someone are you on your own or do you need someone to guide you and I've got an amazing guest. Her name is Yvette. I'm going to allow her to introduce herself because she's so empowered, so young, so inspired. And um, she's also a coach, a life coach, a business coach, a relationship coach. My goodness, what else do you coach? <laughs> Why don't you coach? Oh, well, I definitely don't coach in relationships. I am not an expert in that regard. Um, Surprise! No, no, no but, <laughs> but please do, you know, introduce yourselves and tell us what, what is Yvette about and global, you know, global is. Well, I am a certified life coach. Um, what I focus on is personal development and business development. So I also have a company called The Global Village, which... Um, which what we do there is build the entrepreneur as well as build their business because your business can only be as good as you are. So that's what I do for a living. I work with people because I love, love, love helping people and seeing them reach their full potential so they can live in purpose and, and just change the world in their own space, of course. So that's what I do. So you've been branching this out for how many years now? When did you get certified? You know, um, clearly in terms of the, like in education. Yeah. Um, I know that there's a certain subject that you, or a certain uh, subject you need to study because this is clearly psychology that you first need to tap into, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, help us. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I'm blonde in these things. Okay, so um, I did not study psychology. Um, so what I did do is called NLP, right? Okay. Neurolinguistics Programming, right? Which means neuro. Uh, brain, right? Linguistics, language, programming, programming, mm -hmm. right? So we understand how the brain works, right? Okay. Therefore, you can't change a person's behavior because on the conscious level. So therefore, we understand how the brain works. Therefore, we can actually change your behavior because we can see beyond what's on the surface. Because many people walk around looking like they're fine, you know, um, but on the inside, you know, beneath the surface of this fine, um, I guess, image that they give to other people. They, that's where we, we walk in and we say, okay, this is why you have this certain behavior. So we study the person, um, we're trained rather to understand the person and what ma makes them have certain behavior because all behavior is patterned, mm -hmm. right? So for example, if you have a smoking addiction, that's a something that, you, a pattern. Why do you have the smoking addiction? You know, when did it start, mm -hmm. you know? And you can't get to those things just on a surface level. So we need to understand the mind. We need to understand your background as well so that we can also change the behavior based on what, what your system looks like. So it, it's different for everybody, you know, because we all have different behaviors because we have different beliefs, different Different backgrounds as well so that's what I do we, we I, I was trained um, with NLP and also life coaching so then that's also goal setting who do you want to become you know and then giving you the strategies right because we all want goals but we don't know how do we implement those goals mm -hmm. so we are trained with the right successful strategies that have been proven worldwide you know in business and in personal anything personal in sports whatever you know um, we are trained in that and then we can use those same strategies to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve in life so you're originally not from Johannesburg? No. Where have you been birthed? Okay, so I was born in Limpopo, de Movenda. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, all I you have to say is ah, ah, ah. Yeah. That's why I watch Muvangu. Because mm -hmm. I want to learn these different types of yeah. things whereby uh, I know some few of them and I would always used to get it wrong. Yeah. And I would say to them in there and I'm like, no, 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 no. You're a woman. You must say, ah. I'm like, no, it sounds kind of but weird though. Mm -hmm. Because when you say, ah, and then in, in color term, and you say, ah, means there's something meaningful for another language. Now oh, wow. meaning for it. Yeah. So I am intrigued by it because my dad is Shangan. Mm. And we are from Zanin side. Yeah. The bloodline from Zanin side. Yeah. I'm born here in Chowak, yeah. but the bloodline's from there. Yeah. So it's easy to adapt, you know, to yeah. to that type of environment. So I'm so 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 clutched to it when people were like in the and then other people in ah and Machuroni and they start just getting into another yeah. level. I'm like, oh my goodness. But it's a very exciting culture though. It is extremely exciting. I think for me the one thing that I appreciate about my culture is that my people are very humble. 
Yeah. We're very hardworking, yeah. you know. And I think growing up, you'd live in the city and you'd you'd always feel different because your parents would always be stricter, you know. Where and we always taught to respect our, our our elders and so forth and so forth. So there's so many things within my culture that I appreciate now more than I did in my youth, of course. Because then yes. when you have to greet people, you have to go ah, <laughs> and you have to do it on your knees. And then at some point, you're like, but I'm over this. And then when I grew old, I'm like, no, but that's a sign of respect, you know. It's not it's not anything. Like respect for everybody because it's not just male or female it's just anybody that you beat you greet them with that same um reverence i suppose so mm -hmm. yeah and it's so so amazing that the fact that we know for the fact that when we come from these cultures and we we come from this background we can be able to tap and that's when we can be able to learn mm -hmm. so these humble beginnings these humble ways of learning how to remain humble mm -hmm. that is where it, it brought you to the point where you know how to be able to tap into with someone yeah. and teach them yeah. and 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 be able to differentiate mm -hmm whereby you can help this person, coach this person and train this person because yeah. it all started with you at a young age. Yeah. How to remain humble because I believe the first coaching step in my personal mm -hmm. is teaching some, not you can't teach them but show them with your action how to remain humble yeah. because it's our actions that will teach that makes the loudest noise yeah. for someone to adapt to it yeah. if I'm correct in saying so. Yeah. So you are from, you, you teach on a, you coach on a personal development and on a business. Yes. Let's start off with the personal development coaching. Mm -hmm. Is this a constant, th um, how important is it for someone, to, do you think it's important for someone to be coached on a, for, for personal development? Is there, what are the, 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 the challenges that you've come across yeah. trying to train someone mm -hmm. to get into order? Because if they're not personal developed, yeah. they will flunk at most of their things <laughs> in their lives. Um, I think the great thing about, um, well, the career that I've chosen or the path that I've chosen is that if someone doesn't want it, you know, nobody will come to you unless oh, yes. they really want it, you know, and you won't get to the point where you actually are in a session, you know, um, unless the person really wants to be there. You know, so it's their own will to, for them to get to the point where that means they've already had awareness. There's right. something that's missing in my life. Oh, I want more, but I don't know how to achieve it. Or oh, I really want to quit this thing, but I can't do it on my own. I've tried, you know. Um, or I've had this this emotional baggage, you know, this experience in my life which has traumatized me, and I want to move past it, but I don't know how, you know. And by the time they get to me, they've already had an awareness because I believe that uh, for you to grow, you need to be aware of yourself. So it means self-awareness in terms of mm. where am I right now, mm. you know. And then once you know where you are and you can accept that and acknowledge it, then you can move forward. Mm -hmm. But if you're in denial, you can't move forward. So by the time they get to me, they've gone through the the the, the denial, they've, they're already at the awareness part, mm -hmm. you know. And it makes my job so much easier because then I'm like, okay, this is how we move you forward. You know, um, I haven't had difficult clients per se because um, for me, yeah, the, the coaching strategies that we use in, my, in NLP are so efficient and they're so fast that they just work, mm -hmm. you know, and the, because already you're willing to receive, right, then they will always work. So for me, I've never had a client that was difficult because we also don't drag you along. That's not mm -hmm. the point of a life coach or a personal development coach. The point is that we give you the strategies, right? We, we obviously give you the strategies and then you go and you implement Right? And we also move you past the things that are blocking you from moving forward. Mm -hmm. So if you're procrastinating, we have strategies for, for those things. If oh. you are, um, like I said, have a minor addiction, nail biting, mm -hmm. smoking, whatsoever, we have strategies for those things. It takes me probably around 20 minutes <laughs> to move a person past something like that. But depending, if you have a trauma, you know, because sometimes mm -hmm. some of my clients, they've been through abuse, they've been through trauma in their lives, you know, emotional trauma, sometimes physical trauma, that would take around an eight hour session that I do mm -hmm. with one client specifically. So it depends on where you're at. Um, I don't think there's anything such as a difficult client. You know, it's up, more up to me to build a, to build a relationship with the client where they can trust me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And in that their results are better because when someone feels comfortable with you as their coach, you know, but it's not a thing where we baby you along the way because I think a lot of people think it's, and it's also not a thing where you just talk about your problems the whole time. Mm -hmm. That's not what personal development coaching or life coaching or NLP is about. It's about moving you forward, mm -hmm. you know, so we don't work from a place of you're broken. We work from a place of you're fixed, but how yes. do we align you, align you with that fixing? How do we align you with who you truly are so you can move forward? So why once you realize that you're a whole being and and you have everything you need inside you because we don't just work with the mind and body we work with the mind body soul 
Mm. We believe there has to be a correlation with everything for you to move forward. So everything you need to know, your mind already knows. Like everything you need to, you need to do to move forward, your mm. mind already knows. We only help you uncover those things. Yeah. So most of the time, the clients actually get to the questions, them, the answers to what they need themselves because we just ask the right questions to get you to those solutions as well. But everything is f is is forward based, you know. And I've never had any client thus far where I can say this was a difficult case. There's no way I can I can. Yeah, break it. Break it down. Yeah. No, that's good because I know that in personal development, um, like you say, it's, 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 you don't, I like the fact, let me first start off, I like the fact that you don't take them like from their brokenness because you don't want to press on that wound. You are all about, you know what, fine, you acknowledge that this is the broken part, you the coach already. Yeah. So it is my job now to let him see there is a light from that brokenness, there is a movement from there, there is a purpose that was in that brokenness that is, it was actually birthed out. So in that time, moving, let them see that there's a light, there's a healing aspect in it, mm -hmm. and that's when they tap into it. Yeah. I like the fact that you also deal with, you know, when there's trauma, mm -hmm. because not everyone can handle such trauma. And for me, personally, you have to be strong to be able to handle, um, because, not ev because every trauma is not the same. Yeah. Every trauma is, 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 is so difficult yeah. to tap into because mm -hmm. you've got to be sensitive. Yeah. I like how you actually say that you, you, know, you let him win your trust. Mm -hmm. Because no one wants to be, the trust, the trust, before the trust actually happens, yeah. there must be comfortability must between be comfortable the two. To open up. You must be comfortable to open yeah. up. And when there's comfortability, then you know for a fact, okay, fine, I can, literally trust this person with the information I'm about to lay out and when I leave from a vet I am not the same yes definitely I don't think I've ever had a client that lived the same they literally <laughs> it's so funny I remember I had one client who literally said it's, it feels like you've been carrying all this baggage because the reason a lot of people aren't moving forward is because we go through abuse, we go through um, a childhood experience that mm. traumatizes us, and right? That's where and, yeah, yeah. And, and then we don't deal so with those much. parts. Yeah. We don't deal with those parts of ourselves, you know. So a lot of stuff you're doing it in your adulthood, your relationships aren't working, your studies are not working out because perhaps in your childhood, right? you are made feel like you're not good enough, mm. right? So you spend the rest of your life trying to prove that you're good enough. So you now overcompensate, you overperform at work, you just trying to prove to everybody that you're good enough. And in a session, I can just get you to realize, right, that the experiences that you had do, do not define you and you are good enough and therefore you can move forward. So this, that's your relationships are better. You're better in the workplace because you're not exasperating yourself trying to prove yourself. Mm. And this is all mainly based on an experience that you had in your childhood. You know, so we have experiences as humans and we take them in and internalize them as I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, there's no meaning in life, you know, um, yeah, I'm not loved, mm. you know, and we internalize those things. For, for me, it's just how do we change the meaning, you mm. know, how do we go into, back into that experience and change the meaning for you, meaning of it for you, so that you can live a better life for yourself. And yeah, it it's, it's, it's literally feels like spiritually you're lifted as well, and mentally, emotionally. You, literally people come out feeling and looking like different people, just yeah. simply from one session even. Um, yeah. And I believe what, what I've also just picked up now is not that uh, when they've, the fact that they can live so lightly like is because the anointing of God has placed upon you. It's a yes. gift that he has given you. Yes. When, he, when God gives you a gift, yeah. when he, give, he doesn't give it empty-handed. He mm -hmm. gives it with strength. He gives it with anointing. Mm -hmm. He gives it with power. He yes. gives it with wisdom. Because we're walking around with so many gifts, but we don't have the wisdom. Mm -hmm. And we don't have, to, we don't have the wisdom to, to actually tap into that key yeah. and to unlock it. Because you can be a singer and you don't have the wisdom how to use your voice. Mm -hmm. You use your voice, just he, how and how, and at the end of the day, you are left way behind and stranded. You have got a gift to, to mentor people, but then, then at the end of the day, you are also left behind because, like you're saying, you're trying to prove a point because you want to think, okay, fine, you can mentor the, the, the other people better than other, but then that's when you lack mentorship in your own life yourself. Mm. Which is for me what I've discovered lately is that's what mostly people have because we're now in a place in a time where the competition situations is so on another level which it, it actually bores me. Mm. And I have developed whereby myself, whereby I've learned to tap into the personal development for myself, you know, yeah. through the grace of God, yeah. whereby I don't want to when someone wants to try and compete or oh God, mm. I literally become so still. Because I want the inner voice in me to be so still that when someone gets into my presence, they can feel the inner voice, that the inner me, that is a peace yeah. that, that they can come into. Because your peace must be also be a healing. 
for the next person and that is why a lot of people can be so comfortable to come to you for coaching because the peace in you is not just any peace it's a healing yeah. so when they sit down with you already there's a healing already a yeah. healing process that takes place with mm -hmm. them and that's why i'm sure some of your sessions they don't even take an hour yeah. they, they they go so quickly mm. and in terms of the business let's go to the business side Okay. In terms of business coaching, so again, we work with the leaders, right, within businesses because every entrepreneur needs to have a certain level of personal development for their business to grow Definitely. as well. Yeah, so you need to be able to communicate e effectively, you need to be able to negotiate, you need to be able to facilitate a meeting uh, properly, you need to do, have sales coaching as well mm. because every person you interact with is a, probably a client, right? So that's mm. sales. <laughs> so you need to be able to sell your business everywhere you go and that's the coaching that I do rather in in terms of business um, development and also setting goals for the company, organizational goals, etc., etc. So you're just training um, the leaders, or obviously within themselves, to work past um, their own limits, such as if you don't have confidence, right? That's a mm. thing that we can w work you past because how do you present for your business? How do you do a mm. business pitch if you don't know how to, if you don't have the confidence to do it? Um, so moving business owners as well past their own personal limits, you know, such as procrastination, confidence, confidence issues, communication issues. Um, so many things that I can think of that a lot of entrepreneurs really struggle with because they have ideas, but they don't have the character of the personality to, hmm. to, to display those ideas. So some of them will have these ideas, but then they can't go and do a pitch. Or they'll pitch, no, but nobody's convinced yes. that their idea is amazing, you know, and yeah, they'll fall short on, on, on all the opportunities just because of that. So that's something that they can work past. You know, you don't have to just sit there and say, oh, I'm not confident. Oh, well, you know, um, mm -hmm. it's either you partner with somebody that's confident, but if you can't partner with somebody, then you need to be the confident person. You need to be the pe person that can communicate effectively, right? So that's the training that I do, rather, in terms of business coaching. It's working with the individual as well, right. because the business will only be as good as the individual, individual. is. And yeah. I believe mm. that I, whenever, like, my other brand, does um little c holdings does pr and communications as you know so i always say to a client that when i when i want to market you when i want to market your brand i would first start to brand you yeah because when people are looking for the services they first want to know who's the boss yeah they first want to know who is the one that's driving behind this particular brand yeah. If this person is in the right state of mind, like you say, personal development, clearly the brand is also sustained. Yes. Clearly the brand is stable mm. because you are the presentation mm. of, you are the, you are the mirror mm. of what you drive. Mm. And a lot of people lack that though yeah. because they want to jump the gun more and just want to it's skip the... Image, 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 image. There's no there's ground. No, there's no ground. And there's no ground where it's been done. Mm. I sometimes find myself where I feel like, oh my goodness, um, I'm, I'm, I'm slacking in one, two, three, four. Yeah. And one of the things that I've learned is to admit it. Always. Be aware about mm -hmm. it. Like you're in this case right now in your business. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing, there's nothing to be ashamed about. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to be, be hiding about it. You know, it's okay to say it. And then once you've found, once you've been, you know, or being aware about it, that's when your first personal development as the owner of the brand starts mm -hmm. because there's an awareness. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the next step and say, how do I work this one out? It's okay to reach out to like to people like yourself mm -hmm. and say, I'm struggling. Mm -hmm. I, um, I can't get myself out. Mm -hmm. Is there something that I don't, maybe I'm not mm -hmm. seeing what I'm yes. doing. Right. You know, it's always good to have a good eye from someone else, but with a good perspective or not someone because those, you get those ones who say, okay, let me assist you. Mm -hmm. But then there's not a good intention. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that there are people like you that's out there and that's literally training entrepreneurs because entrepreneurs are definitely battling in today. Mm. They are battling so much because they are pitching to the wrong clients. They are just, you know, they become so discouraged mm. because the confidence is no longer there. Mm. I was saying to one girl at our church that um, you don't give up. Mm. And funny, when I saw her last week, she was all light and up. She's like, no, I just decided I'm not going to be weeping my eyes out mm. and stuff. Because I, you know, when you unlock that character and that person and I say to her, my darling, business, especially if you're a beginner, it's no child's play. You, it teaches you to have thick skin. And that thick skin starts with you. Mm. Character, mm. confidence, mm. you know, esteem, mm. and have that drive to move forward. Mm. So I'm very excited the fact that you have these coachings You've got these. Now we know that it is important for us to be coached, 
be developed yeah. and importantly I'm sure you touch on life and purpose as well. Yes. Because <laughs> on your Twitter, you're about the woman of purpose. So can we move? I'm passionate about purpose. So yes. can we move into, at the end of the day, yeah. from personal development, because it flows nicely. Yeah. You first, from personal development coaching, you are, you've got services that you do for business. Yes. In the, between the personal and the business, your purpose is developed. Yeah. Because when you've discovered your purpose, you know what you're going to do next exactly. in your brand. Exactly. Ah, important. <laughs> and also, I think it's just, yeah, finding your purpose, you know, because once you, it's good to know your purpose, but then the, the tangible steps into implementing that purpose. You know, for me, I love, my purpose is to help people. I know that, mm -hmm. you know, and, but the, the, the moving into purpose, becoming Yvette, who is the business coach and life coach, you know, um, that took steps, mm -hmm. that took goal setting, that took personal development, that took, you know, business development, that took a lot of YouTube videos <laughs> and studies as well, you know. So, yeah, it's great to know your purpose as well, but have a plan of action. You know, yes. I think especially as believers or uh, people of faith, we, we tend to just be in this world. We're just like, ah, God is doing it and God is like my child. I am waiting for you to move. I have given you the manual, you know, I have given you the desires, but you need to move. Because when, when you move, then I'll provide. I've actually read a prophetic word this morning um, whereby um, God was saying in it that you don't need to bombard the heavens with praise. Mm. The provision for the vision is already mm. there. You know, so, so in, 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 that's why it just flashed to me now. It just flashed as I'm mentioning it mm. because it's literally prompting people right now mm. on a high scale to say that it needs to, you know, you need to be pushed out, you need yeah. to move, you need to move. Because if you're not going to move, how are you going to get to where you need to be? And there's so many people, yes, supernaturally, you can sit and things just happen. Yeah. Supernaturally, yeah. very rare, supernaturally. That's how, that's how I use the word supernaturally. But the biggest achievements come from those who move. Mm. There's time to wait just a little bit before you make that movement mm. because you need to see, you need to have a strategy. To move towards God that is goal. A God of order. Yes. <laughs> so you can't be moving when there's. Mm. I've learned to become still before I move to the mm. next level. So listen to your soul. Listen, listen. yeah. Listen. I've learned to become still, and I'm still learning because we are so busy, we forget how to literally. So I've learned to become still before mm. I move. In that stillness, there's a strategy that gets implemented before you. Mm. There's a plan that gets implemented before you, and it's aligning with your purpose, it's aligning with your assignment. Mm. If you are a life coach, before you touch with this person, there is alignment that you need to mm. first strategize how I'm going to minister to this person because you're ministering to mm. them. You are helping. You are like God's extended, extended hand. Mm. How I'm going to touch base with this person. How I'm going to, you know, get this person out of this trauma, out of these challenges that this person has been going through. And make sure by the grace and by the help of God, they don't, do not go back. They don't look back. They move forward because there are so much more. So and even in those spaces where you might think you're moving back, it's just saying, go sit down, my child. Yes. <laughs> Reevaluate yes. and get back up again. Because okay. there is no failure. There's only feedback. Yes. You know? So in God's eyes, I think so many people were so scared of, oh, God, this. God, in God's eyes, we cannot fail. Because mm -hmm. God made us in his image. So if God can't fail, we can't fail. <laughs> There's yeah. no such thing. He's, 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 is, he's, yeah. a, he's an amazing God. Yeah. He's an so, amazing God. And I... I honor him for everything that I get so sometimes emotional when I give thanks yeah. because um, I say there are many those left the earth at this point in time right now that has not that did not have the glimpse of an opportunity to make one step of a difference mm. in their lives. Mm. So even in my prayers, I'm not even you know you you don't become you don't you get you don't get selfish. You you pray for those who are still here. You know, the Father make a way for them to still develop mm. themselves. People my age, mm. people your age, um, those who are in the hospital, you know, have mercy on them. Some of them are there because of they have not fulfilled their purposes. But Father, have mercy on them and let them come out of that bed and be a testimony mm. and de help develop other people. Yeah. Because we're not here for ourselves. Yeah. And I love the fact that you are so selfless, you know, you just give it all out. Because the rewards that God is bestowing on you, it is amazing because you're not, you don't limit yourself when you want to assist someone. 
you yeah. it's 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 humbling yeah. it's humbling and it's exciting to see someone coming back on your timeline because i do check your timeline <laughs> and i do see trust me guys like her timeline is booming where it's i lit. It's, it's lit like, let's let's you just use the word lit it is lit where by people literally um get on events timeline and say thank you i feel so much better um thank you so much i literally saw the light thank you so much it's amazing to see to following someone like like if it on twitter or on instagram or on facebook or so where people respond to whatever she tweets so they respond to whatever she puts out there whereby it can be a short word of encouragement from business like she mentions and from personal development um, coachings and her quotes are not just quotes whereby she copies and pastes from oprah whatever best believe it comes straight yeah. from the throne meaning yeah. straight from god it is natural i'm sure she just wakes up in the morning or that point in time and she gets what needs to be posted out there and the response the retweets the sharing of those quotes are so impactful and so amazing that you yourself wants to just hang on it i'm sure some of them can't wait when is the next tweet coming on <laughs> Because it's, it's inspiring. Some of them can't wait when is the next tweet coming, when is the next Facebook post coming, or an Instagram story or Instagram post. Because it is impactful. It is, it is worth reading. It is worth, you know, tapping into your spirit for to say, this is what I need at that point in time. And it's always a post that someone needs at that very moment. If they thank you so much for coming through to Divine Human Empowerment Inspirational Talk with Lena. Thank you uh, so much for having me. Yeah. I, this is, are we done already? Oh. oh yeah, we, 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 we were wrapping this, this amazing yeah, talk yeah. up. Unfortunately, we have, to, we have to reach the end of our yeah, show. Yeah. But um, in future, I'm sure that we will definitely call you back for the next, because I'm sure there's so many other things that you, yes. you that you are, that you, you know, unleashing, because there's so much about Yvette. But the time is not allowing us to, to read us out, though. But where can they, you know, when can our viewers get hold of you if they want to be coached, you know, on a personal development or on a business level? Yeah. So, like you said, on my Twitter, <laughs> um, I have my webpage up and all of that on the Twitter. So you can just evet, um underscore alu on Twitter, on Instagram. And if you want to Google me, it's Yvette Ratchikopa. And then just whatever space you find me in, just there. And then follow me. And yeah, let's journey together awesome stuff there you have it it is important to be coached is important to be developed is important to find your purpose it's important also to be connected with people that's in your assignment for you to be aligned and that's where business coaching also comes thank you so much for joining me right here on divine home and empowerment inspirational talk with your host carol Lauren Clary, with our favorite amazing channel called global conference television until next time remain blessed thank you